welcome to another adventure. This time, Veronica and I will be sailing along beautiful, majestic princess. We're headed north, bound towards San Francisco, as we embark on our California coast seven-day cruise. Along the way, we will enjoy some fine dining, unmatched service, fantastic entertainment, and an absolutely incredible cruise ship, which will be sailing us towards unforgettable destinations. Ports of call, including San Francisco, San Diego, and Ensenada, Mexico. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and please come along with us and enjoy the sights and sounds as Veronica and I are on the quest to find our adventure. Anthony and Veronica here from Finding Our Adventure and today we're doing just that heading out on the Princess cruise ship the majestic princess on a seven-day cruise of the California coast we're gonna bring you along for the adventure let's go Thank you guys. door opens right up when we walk up you can see in our mini suite here nice little mirror hi everyone Complimentary champagne, mirror, queen bed, it's two twin bunks put together here, nice accent light, two televisions, and this is where the mini suite really comes into play. You basically get all this extra room as opposed to a regular balcony room. As you can see here, another TV, sofa, and of course the reason you get this room the balcony. So this room was given to us as a free upgrade so we did purchase just a balcony room for this ship. However being repeat uh, princess customers we've each sailed a couple of times and being that we are uh, Carnival CCL shareholders uh, you do get a couple of perks with that uh, with those two uh, in mind. So we went up to the guest counter we asked if we could get a free complimentary upgrade and they did say yes. The worst they can say is no. So we got this room here, which was an extra thousand dollars for free. Hard to beat. Worth it. Worth it. Cheers, baby. Mm. Tastes like free. Hi there! Thank you so much. Next Thank you. Yes. So we're signing into a muster station here. Yes. Hear that? We're moving. Leaving the port of Los Angeles, and we're uh, sailing past the USS Battleship Iowa. Sailing away, the port of Los Angeles, eating some pho noodle. <laughs> Mm. So good. 
pretty good. I am looking at the menu right now for the restaurant we're going to go to tonight. Wow. Drinking my coffee. So Veronica was pregnant on this cruise and so she couldn't eat everything that they had on the menu and a lot of the times the kids menu was what struck the most appetite for her so here we are with that. <laughs> nice cold gloomy day wonton and dumpling soup. Nice views. Mm -hmm. Tea time. Our favorite thing to do. I'll take the vegetable one place. Thank you, sir. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy. Oh, no. Somebody asked me to put water here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Tea time, best part of the cruise. All right, guys, we're here tonight. It's one of our two fancy nights on this seven day cruise. We're gonna head over to the restaurant and have some uh, nice, delicious, fine dining food. Everyone on the cruise is all dressed up in their Sunday best. It's pretty awesome. What's our capacity on this? 1800. Normally, I think about like 3,800. Yeah, so we're at 60% capacity, so there's a lot less people right now. But uh, everyone's really well dressed, pretty cool. So let's go eat. Nice beef tenderloin, the drinks going playing with the pasta. Mm -hmm. And the mashed potatoes. A little hazelnut chocolate. This one's special from the chef. And Veronica's got chocolate sorbet. <laughs> awesome. So the chef knew that uh, she was pregnant and she said, I only eat chocolate. So they brought her some pure chocolate. That's really nice. All right, morning of day three. We're uh, out here in San Francisco, cool, gloomy. It rained all night. There was probably 10 foot seas. They said the waves were five meters. Uh, ship was rocking pretty hard last night. And uh, now we're just eating some breakfast. We've got a custom made omelet with a bunch of goodies, some coffee, orange juice, and water. San Francisco backdrop. We've got the Golden Gate Bridge back there. And our uh, morning breakfast that we had in Alaska on our uh, Coral Princess. These things. So it's good to see these again. We love these things. So we'll head out today. Enjoy the day. We'll see what uh, what it holds. Are you cold right now? Um, I mean, I'm I'm good in the shade. Or good in the sun. <laughs> Southern Californians. So now we're gonna head over to Fisherman's Wharf, Pier 39. Go right. look for a sous vide. Uh -huh. Get a sous vide. I'm not doing that. I don't know what that was. Sous vide. Okay, good. Okay, good. COVID. Um, <laughs> gonna go to go get a sous vide. And uh, maybe an ornament. Or an ornament, whatever. And we'll figure it out, and then we'll find our way back. Guys, we're at the end here, Pier 39, San Francisco. You can see Alcatraz in the background, and Golden Gate Bridge way back there in the distance. Pretty awesome stuff. We're uh, pretty tired. Just walked around, did the little two-hour tour on the hop on, hop off. A bunch of shopping. A bunch of shopping. Pier 39 is really cool. So uh, if you're coming down here on the cruise or just in general, 
definitely head down to Pier 39. It's really fun. Tons of souvenir shops, good food, and uh, great coffee and stuff. So probably going to pick some up on the way back to the cruise ship and go from there and uh, bring a jacket because it's going to be icy cold down here. And a wind jacket. You look like you're going to say you're good. I'll feel good. Yeah. And a beanie. It's very windy. It's a bit windy. It's a bit windy. <laughs> Chapel Town. Wearing my diaper mask. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Dark almond bark. This is chocolate. Mm -mm. Yummy. So good. Alright, this is uh, day three of the cruise, but day two in San Francisco. Here's Vern's little breakfast planner. Nice view of the bay. There's my breakfast and I'm waiting for an omelet. So they do things a little different. When you're uh, getting food at the buffet, they serve you everything so you don't touch any of the tongs. You basically just hold your plate out and they give you what you want. Um, they grab you your drinks, they grab you your utensils, everything that you need. It's, uh, there's a lot more customer service involved, so they're working a lot harder, unfortunately, and uh, you're doing a lot less work than you normally would do. Hmm. Let's go. Mm. All right, day two in San Francisco, we're on the hop on, hop off. And uh, so we'll be going all the way up to the Golden Gate Bridge today and getting off. And we got a front row view seat this time. Upgrade. Pretty cool. Big bus. Not too shabby, huh, kiddo? Not too shabby. It's so upgrade. Definitely not getting off until Golden Gate because I want this view for, for over there. And that way I hopefully don't almost lose my hat again. <laughs> I found it though. Best thing on the cruise so far are these delicious tea time scones with uh, a jam and a sweet crema. sail here from San Francisco. We just got off the dock. There was a bit of a delay because of uh, medical transport that needed to uh, leave the ship. So there was a paramedic unit that showed up, took the patient off, and uh, now we're off. So we're approximately 45 minutes late, uh, but 
Good thing is, it's dark now, so we might be able to get some good night shots of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Got the Bay Bridge back there. San Francisco, high rises over here. And just about to pass under the Golden Gate Bridge here as well. Morning. We're uh, got a sea day today before we make our way into San Diego. Vernon's not feeling so hot this morning, <laughs> and so we are eating brekkies in the room. Fun tip. Fun tip. Take your medication near the bathroom. <laughs> Fun tip. <laughs> mm mm. Delicious. Uh, we're getting some lemon cookies and we're getting some coffee. What kind of coffee? Salted caramel swirl and vanilla bean latte. Iced. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> Cheers, kid. Delish. Good morning and welcome to sunny San Diego, California. You can see the planes taking off right behind me from the airport. The big industrial center right behind me here. Great ocean views. And from the other side of the bay here, we'll be able to see Coronado Island and the Coronado Bridge. So stay tuned. We're going to head out and uh, go and check some things out today here in a beautiful downtown San Diego. Off to San Diego we go. Towers on the Midway Aircraft Carrier. Uh, that'll be coming up just around the corner. Largest aircraft carrier museum in America, actually. So if you want to do that one, I believe that one's the... Uh... As is typical, pregnant Vern is petered out about a quarter mile in. <laughs> Let's be real. I was I was tired five minutes. Not even five minutes after we got off the ship. Yeah, it's true. Basically, once we got off the gangway, she was already petered out. I was already looking for a bed. So we're just kicking it here. We've got another hour or so before the shuttle comes back to pick us up. And uh, great views. Great views here of Coronado Island and Coronado Bridge there in the background. Got a lot of ships. Got a Coast Guard boat it looks like here. Or a sheriff boat hauling butt. Yep. Back into the bay. And uh, getting to see a bunch of the military helicopters. We got a aircraft carrier over there. All is well. Looking good. Guys, I'm riding solo now. Veronica's back on the ship on the Majestic Princess. I'm gonna be heading over to that bad boy over there, check out the uh, naval ship, and uh, hop on there. So, Veronica will be hanging out there. I'll be hanging out over there. Should be pretty cool. We'll go check it out, and uh, hopefully, they'll let me uh, film on board. Doggy, now we're talking. USS Midway. This is freaking rad. <laughs> 
about to go have some fun. This is so freaking cool. Radio communicator's dream right here. Oh. Appetizer for tonight, some delicious scallops, lemon herb, and pepper. Next up, a little cold cut action here. Nice little appetizer. Biting into this thing before I even videoed a nice piece of trout with a little vegetable medley and potatoes. Delicious. And a nice piece of medium beef here. The nice little sauce, vegetables, rice medley. Delicious. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. All right, dessert. We got black coffee. Nice little uh, desserts here. Floating vanilla island. Morning. We made it here to Ensenada, Mexico. We're docked up here for the day. Nice, crisp 80 degrees out. Uh, the only lame thing is the big flag is not flying today, so that's the first time. I think we've been here four times now. That's the first time uh, that I have not seen the flag flying. Fixing to wipe the floor of Veronica right now. It's about to go down. Oh, she wants me to go first to see if I bomb it if I go too soft. Oh yeah, okay. Way too much, way too much sauce on that. Oh. Does that say minus 10? Minus 10? Yeah, it wasn't I am at a zip zilch, not a baby. Vern's fixing to smoke tone here. Alright, Vern gives it too much salsa on the first hit. Too little salsa on the second hit. Deanna, the salsa on the third hit. How do you feel about that? I mean, we'll see. It's still. We got three more, so.
love to decorate it. It makes it easier for us to see that it's our correct room, and I know a lot of other people like it also because then they can tell how far away they are from their room. Um, we like to do it for the different holidays, so this one is for Halloween since Halloween is in two days. Is it needed on this cruise? I think it's needed. Anthony does not think it's needed. Why wouldn't it be needed? Because now we have where you're close and the door, as you can see, unlocks automatically. So you can and that see. light turns green. So one of our favorite things to do is afternoon tea time. It's usually between 3 and 3.30 on most ships. Sometimes they don't put it in the patter, which is pretty interesting. So then it even feels more exclusive, but it's something that's really fun to do. We're going to go do it again right now. And we'll show you a little bit about it. So typically you show up and you wait for some tea. No, thank you. They have uh, sandwiches that they'll give first. So it's kind of like your main course or your appetizer. Followed with some tea, which is nice. They'll give you some tea. Sometimes there's a choice, sometimes not. And then they will follow up with some delicious scones or some sort of dessert. And with... Uh, it actually both uh, you'll have scones and dessert and there'll be like different creams or jellies that go with them and so you're basically eating like an appetizer entree and dessert all in one and it's all based on the tea which will be coming shortly so it's really fun and we're just hanging out here and we'll enjoy some tea they came over with some tea poured some tea tea platter there sandwich platters here delicious stuff <laughs> so nice nice hot tea all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Enjoy the rest of the time, all right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, nice and hot, too. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, these are hot, hot. Both, please. Yeah, close to both. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll do both as well. All right, these scones, best thing on the cruise ship. Hot. Mm. Mm. Last dinner night here in the beautiful restaurant and my appetizer here is a little asparagus with a lemon bisque. All right, second appetizer. A little uh, scallops here, piece of shrimp. Delicious looking, we're gonna dig into this. All right, one of the two mains here, we got a beautiful piece of mahi-mahi over some rice with asparagus spread. This looks great. Crowd favorite, last night of the ship, as always, the beautiful surf and turf. Can never go wrong with this. Oh yeah, nice and medium. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shrimp and steak, baby. Mm. There's nothing left. Amazing food. And for dessert, a beautiful deep dish apple pie with vanilla. And a lemon creme brulee. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice thick crust on this apple pie. Mm. Nice and hot. And to end every delicious meal, a nice cup of black coffee to go suit. It's always an emotional feeling last night of the cruise.
till next time. All right, boogieing back to Southern California from Ensenada. All right, last night of the trip, so back returning some of the books I read. Passion for Steam and Joe Pepper. So I had a Western. I always read Westerns when I'm on the ship and I'll read something random like this. Learning about steam trains. Always been a locomotive guy. So this was very interesting to read about. That's plenty, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Can you give me one because the Easter of the meal is green? Come on, rock me. Rock me like the wind in the rain. Rock me. Rock me like the wind in the rain. Here we are, sad pandas, leaving the room after a week of living here. It's always a sad but happy feeling to leave a cruise. Sad you gotta go back to normal life, but happy to enjoy the comforts of your home. Yeah. Life as we know it is about to change for Veronica and I. And as we sail away on this seven day California coast cruise, we can't help but think what a wonderful gift this will be for us. But one thing's for certain, we will never lose that drive to get outdoors to sail on the open seas, but most of all, we will never lose the spark to find our next adventure. And I hope we have instilled in you the travel bug to get up, to get outdoors, and to find your next adventure. Thanks for watching. <laughs>